Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and what an expiry today. Market opened gap up and after that it just was sliding down continuously. So let's have a look at the bank nifty and understand what lies ahead, right? And if you understand, you know, something that I want to share with you people in the beginning itself, market was pretty ready to fall. It was just needing a trigger and the trigger came in the form of Fed rate being hyped. And it was like a catalyst and market definitely opened gap up. That is how market traps you. That is how market fools you, right? And then it started sliding down. So have a look at Bank Nifty. It almost, wherever it closed yesterday, it opened almost like uh, 400 points up and it was not, it couldn't sustain itself. It couldn't sustain itself and sl started sliding down. It's just not the Bank Nifty all of its major components like Axis Bank, ICIC Bank, Indusin Bank, HDFC Bank, Kotak Bank, State Bank of India and here is RBL Bank. All of them were continuously sliding down from opening slightly gap up and it continuously kept on falling down. Of course a lot of things are being said that inflation is definitely a very very serious issue right now. And to deal with it, bank rates will be hiked. It's not going to good for Bank Nifty. Um, so the Bank Nifty is for sure under stress, right? And there is another factor that contributed to the Nifty's fall. As I have always spoken about the metal sector, I always say that if metal sector and banking sector, these two are weak, nobody can stop Bank Nifty to fall. Nobody can be able to will be able to hold the market and have a look at it today. BEDL, 8% down. Then you have a look at, uh, I'm just talking about, we have already spoken about the uh, nif bank nifty stocks. I'm talking about the uh, now metal stocks. Jindal Steel, Jindal Steel, almost 6% down. Tata Steel, 6% down. Then you have a look at Hindalco, almost 6% uh, down. And then again, you have NBCC. NBCC is also about 5.5% down. Hind Copper. Hind Copper is down by 5.3%. Then we have, uh, you know, almost all the major stocks, all the major stocks have majorly corrected today. The steel stocks and the banking stocks. Whenever these two sectors are in sync and they are either falling down or going up, expect ma market to react in a similar way, right? Nobody could have stopped today Nifty and Bank Nifty's fall. As it is, you know, that almost like 30% of Nifty is nothing but the Bank Nifty. And Bank Nifty was under stress and so was Nifty. And then what also contributed to it was Metal Nifty. So collectively market had fallen. And if you have watched my previous video, which I made a few days back, So this is the video that I made, Nifty Bank Nifty expiry range. Uh, this is a video where I said that Bank Nifty is going to expire close to 15,650. Whereas at, on that particular day, Nifty will expire about 15,650. Although I, on that particular day, Nifty was hovering around 15,900 or so, but giving a closing 300, 350 points below was not, you know, just I, I just said something like that. But I talked about all the data points. So yesterday and two days, two days Nifty has been almost indecisive. And today it gave a very, very massive fall. So collectively, if you have a look at it, what, you know, it's the effect of Nifty, Nifty's fall and Bank Nifty's fall collectively has come from Nifty Metal and banking stocks. Now I want to talk about what lies ahead, what could be expected. So let's have a look into the Nifty's graph first and we'll see all the levels and we'll try to figure out what could be the next possibility. Have a look at Nifty simply today. It has broken in one shot, in one single shot, it has broken a past support which was built over six months. This support, if you see, has been built from January 21st to Ju July 21st almost like 21. 
almost like six six seven months this support was built but it has broken in one shot that means you can understand the strength of bios they are very very powerful at this point of time now since the very important support zone is broken we can expect a, a support at 1500 so nifty till the next expiry which is going to be on 23rd of june could be about 15000 15100 15200 that's the range i'm expecting for nifty to expire and if you want to sell call option you can definitely do but you have to mind the dynamics of the market like had you shorted nifty 15650 call i'm sure today's gap up might have given you some some kind of chills you might have been feared that your stop loss is going to hit or you probably have to exit the positions so until you understand the data completely until you understand the stance of the nifty properly please do not sell so let me take you to the option chain and we're going to try to read from there what has happened in nifty's option chain today so this is end of the day nifty's option chain and i'm going to see the next month next week which is 23rd of june and important data points according to me is are these important data points are here in the money call option if you notice so today 153350 call has been written 15300 call option has been written 15200 call option has been written and 15100 call option has been freshly written these are the positions that have been created today and if you want to understand this is also called option divergence when you write options deep in the money it creates a divergence in the option chain and that divergence it's called a hidden divergence and it helps it actually tells you the mindset of the institutions or the big players what are they thinking about the market so according to me the market is still going to remain bearish the support is going to come around 1500 or 15100 200 like that and it's going to remain range bound for the next one week there, more, there may not be huge buying uh, opportunities there may not be huge selling opportunities but there will be a range bound market of about two three hundred points up and down in nifty you can see now let's have a look into the bank nifty and understand from there what exactly happened in bank nifty so bank nifty is each and every every you know um, component is actually extremely negative let me just show you the bank nifty's components have a look at each component rbl bank excessively negative very very negative then you have idfc bank very very negative indusin bank very negative broken major supports today rather you can say it's standing on a proper support it can it can bounce from here it can further go down then kotak bank have a look at kotak bank standing again on a very strong support zone if the support zone is broken it can further go down then idfc first bank has broken all the supports falling down pnb again under great stress then federal bank is actually in a not close to its support that means there could be further fall that can be expected access bank is again standing close to its support zone see here this is the support zone of access bank bank nifty has broken almost all the support zone it may come to a support at 32 150 32 150 or 32 120 is going to be a support zone for bank nifty then sbn is almost close to its support zone here similarly hdfc bank has almost come to the support zone once again so this is a support zone for hdfc bank idfc bank ICICI Bank is also on a support zone, and Bandhan Bank again, uh, it's a no trade zone. And AU Bank was the only bank which is slightly positive. But if you look into the major, the what do you say, the major contributors to the Bank Nifty, they are extremely under stress. They are standing on the support. So breaking the support is not going to be that easy. So they may stand out there for the next. Two, three days or four days or till the next expiry then there may be a breakout either side upward or the downward but 32 150 looks a very very strong support in spot for back nifty as of now 
because the major stocks like ICICI, Access, HDFC, they're standing on a support. So you have to be careful. There may be muted market for the next few days. In case markets are muted, it's best to go for option selling. And that's how you can make consistent money. And uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring out a series called Making Consistent Money from the Stock Market. And for everybody's convenience, I'm going to do it with 10 lakh rupees. How am I generating consistent money from the stock market? That is what I'm going to do with that. And um, what I'm going to do in that particular series, I will do consistent, I'll generate consistent money by selling options. And the whole plan, step by step, I'm going to share with you all so that if you want, you can trade along with me and you can understand how money can be generated. So maybe in a day or two, I'm going to talk about a plan, a full plan in TCS, where I, which I've designed with the help of my team, where you can, if you invest about 5 lakh rupees or 2 lakh rupees, in 5-6 years, you can convert it into 5 CR. But you have to be consistent. You have to make, you know, very, very disciplined trade in that particular account. So we will come up with this and then let's see how it goes. Hopefully, we'll, we should be able to make some consistent money. So if you want to learn more such videos, if you want me to make more such content, keep writing, keep sharing, keep learning. So once again, in today's video, we have talked about what could be the expiry range for the next week. For Bank Nifty, it's about 3300, 33,000 is going to be a very strong support zone. 33,000 to 33,200. And for Nifty, it is 15,000 to 15,200. That's going to be the range. So keep learning, keep earning, and join me on my Telegram channel for this some for some live trading. All the best. See you there.